This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, this lecture is on accounting for payroll, accounting for wages and salaries. Now, there are two things we need to look at. One really is uh, just terminology. You'll see on the first page, gross pay, net pay, so on. Uh, and the other bit is how we actually record uh, the payments to employees, uh, the debits and credits. Uh, so first of all, to deal with the terminology, let's look at example one. An employee is paid at the rate of $10 per hour. Uh, tax and other deductions amount to 25%. So this is tax that the employee will have to suffer. Uh, 25%, it's for weekly income in excess of 120. Uh, employer payroll taxes, so the employer has to pay tax as well, of 10% of gross wages. And the question says, if an employee works 46 hours a week, first of all, what's the employee's gross pay? Well, the gross pay is the full amount earned by the employee before thinking of taxes or other deductions. And here it's 46 hours. Uh, they're paid at the rate of $10 an hour. It's 460. Uh, however, the company's not allowed to pay them the full 460 uh, because the employer, employee rather, is liable to tax for pay income tax and other deductions. Uh, and so the employer has to subtract the tax from the 460 and pay that over to the state. And so what will be the tax and other deductions? It says it's 25% for income in excess of $120. Well, their income is 460, but they only pay tax on the excess, the extra over 120, which is 340. And the tax, 25% of that. And so the tax the employee has, the employer has to suffer, employee, sorry, keep getting my words wrong. The tax the worker has to suffer is 85. Now, that was just a, a calculation of the tax. But as a result, um, the company is only allowed to pay the employee 460 less this tax. And that's called the net pay. 460 minus 85. And so the cash actually paid to the employee. 375. So gross pay is what they've earned, net pay is the cash that's actually paid to them. And now that 85 that was subtracted by the employer, the employer will have to pay to the state. And it says, what's the total amount that'll have to be paid by the employer to the tax authorities? Well, they'll pay the tax authorities Uh, two things. They'll pay the 85, which they've taken out of the employee. Uh, so it's the employee suffers it, but the employer had taken it off their pay, and the employer will pay it over to the tax. Uh, in addition, though, it says the employer, they have to pay tax themselves of 10% of the gross wages. The gross wages were 460. And so the total that the, the employer pays over is the 85, which they've taken from the employee, and 10% of 460, the 46 uh, that they're being charged. So 85 plus 46, a total of 131. Um, there's one other thing which isn't asked for in the uh, example, uh, but could have been. 
is how much is it costing the employer to employ this, these people, this person? The total cost to the employer Well, first of all, the gross wages were 460. All right, we only uh, actually paid the employee 375, but in addition, we had to pay 85 to the state, which had been taken off the employee. And so the two together, of course, is the 460. So it's costing the employer 460 to employ this person. In addition, though, there was the tax on the employer. That 10% of 460. And so in total, it's costing the company uh, 506 to employ this person. OK, well, that was really just the terminology and how the tax is calculated. Now let's go through how we actually record it in the T-accounts. And if you look at the next page, the steps are all there, well, the entries. But let me show you with example two how we do it. Example two, record the following transactions in the wages control account and the wages account. So the wages account, as you'll see, is where we're going to show the expense. The wages control account. is where we'll keep track of what's happening. First of all, on 31st of March, the gross wages are calculated as 45,000. And so the gross wages, we debit the wages account. It's an expense of employing these people. Uh, the gross wages. And we credit the control account. So we've recorded the expense of employing this person so far. However, of course, we can't pay the employee 45,000. And it says in um, item one, there are deductions for employees taxes of 8,000 uh, and deductions for employees pensions of 3,000. And so how much are we going to pay the employee? Credit cash, debit the control account, we wanted to pay the 45,000, but we've got to uh, take these uh, deductions. It's 45,000 minus the tax of eight, minus the pensions of three. So the cash actually paid 45 minus 8,000 minus 3,000, 34,000. Uh, next one, on the 31st of March, the employee's payroll tax is calculated at 4,000. So the employer has to pay this. It's an extra cost of employing them. So debit the wages account with 4,000. Credit the control account with 4,000. Uh, what is this? It's the employer's payroll tax, an extra cost, an extra expense. And similarly, the employer has an extra cost, these pension contributions <coughs> of 5,000. <coughs> it's an extra expense, so debit the wages account. Uh, credit this control account.
On 1st of April, I've done this a bit out of order, but the employees have paid the amount due. Well, we've I've put that in already, the 34,000, sorry. On 15th of April, the tax authorities have paid the amount due. How much is owed to the tax people? Uh, the employee's tax was 8,000. And in note two, the employer's tax is 4,000. So there'll be a total of 12,000. So credit cash, debit the control account with the tax that's been paid, Again, the employees eight and the employers four. A total of 12,000. Now, finally, on the 20th of April, the pensions people are paid the amounts due. And how much is owed to the pension people? From the employer, we took off, uh, employee rather, we took off 3,000 in note one. In addition, in note to the employee, employer has to pay five. So the cash to the pension people. Credit cash, debit wages control. Did the right way around. Taken from the employee was 3,000, which we now have to pay over. Uh, company themselves, note to 5,000, so a total of eight. If we look at the wages control account, um, the total cost 54,000, but who's it been paid to? 34 has been paid to the employee, 12 to the tax people, 8 to the pension people. But it does balance. We we're going to have to pay out 54,000 in total. 54,000, we're finished. What about the wages account? Well, this was the expense. Uh, so the total, uh, the total cost, 54,000. That's the total cost of employing these people, their gross wages, plus the extra tax and pension payable by the company. So the total expense, 54,000. This will end up in the statement of profit or loss as the expense for the period. Or given that uh, we'd normally be doing this monthly, uh, that will probably be carried forward as a balance. And so each month that will get uh, higher and higher, but at the end of the year, the total would go to the statement of profit or loss.